It's hard to imagine that just a few days ago parts of Brick Pond were covered with ice. Now even the logs are occupied. After all winter in the mud at the bottom of the pond, basking in the sun and wiggling one's toes in the warm air must feel nice. On this warm, sunny day, basking places are a commodity, and the early turtles get the best spots. While warm-blooded animals may hibernate, reptiles brumate. They slow down their metabolism and effectively hold their breath in the mud under the ice. During their months-long breath-holding, their metabolism is primarily anaerobic, burning as little glucose as possible without oxygen. This generates a lot of potentially harmful lactic acid, the stuff of muscle aches, which must be dealt with. As needed, the turtle shell provides buffering minerals. Ted, the African spurred tortoise at the Waterman Center, is closely related to these much smaller freshwater pond turtles, though the two species are well adapted to very different environments. Another adaptation worth noting, turtles can get a little oxygen underwater by absorbing it. One type of absorption is called cloacal respiration, sometimes referred to as butt breathing. Maybe not the best superpower, but life adapts. I'm told a group of turtle is called a bale, like a bale of hay. I can't say that I see that. Maybe a logful, or an order of turtles, or a shuffle. The turtles of Brick Pond, of Turtle Town, Wico, are back from their long, dark nap, back on their basking logs. For them, spring is very much a breath of fresh air.